Greetings, humans. First question is a really important one. It hit me right in the feels, it hit me right in the heart, and I think a lot of guys can relate to this. So I'm gonna read out the question for you right now. How do you find a purpose in life? At the moment, I'm in the last year of high school and I'm depressed as shit, nothing really fun, and I don't see any reason to do anything anymore. Yeah, I, I fucking feel you, brother. Uh, let me first of all say this to everyone, every true friend who's watching this, like, for what it's worth, I am with you. I'm trying to give my support the best I can. Uh, so if that makes anyone happier, I'm happy also. Okay, so let's get you out of there as soon as possible. Let's Everyone who can relate, let's get you out of there as soon as fucking possible. Now the problem is that you don't really have anything to look forward to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna set up uh, three quests for you, three epic quests, three missions that you have to fulfill. I give you three months every fucking day. I want you to when you go to bed, like I want you to think through these three goals and say to my, say to yourself, like, have I done everything I can to come forward to come closer to those goals? So we're gonna start that. You're gonna increase your deadlift by 30 kilo. I'm just taking one gym example. It can be in the bench, the squat, in the push press, in the weighted chains, whatever. It can be if you're not even in the gym, if you like something else, uh, some activity. Like obviously you have to train. If you don't train, you um, you must do that. Like set up a goal. And I'm just gonna say that for the simplicity of it all, 30 kilo in the deadlifts right now. Three months you have that. Uh, no impossibility. There is your fucking goal, and when you reach that, I want you to hug yourself, send me a virtual high five, and I hug you back. That's uh, that's a good idea. The second plan is I want you to get a girlfriend. Work towards that every day. Like read up on resources on how to talk to women, how to dress appropriately, how to conduct your body language, everything like that. I want you to try to talk to girls as much as possible. I'm not talking about hitting on girls. I'm saying like being comfortable. Just having conversation with girls, being more confident in yourself, that sort of thing. And that will also help you with depression because you you have to have someone to basically human contact. Like, I love cuddling. I need cuddles. Like, I do. Because that's that closeness to another human being is very important. Then then obviously other urges as well. So, if you don't already have a girlfriend, get a girlfriend. You have three months for that. Spend each day thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be a fucking James Bond to be more attractive to the women. And then you get a girl. And then she'll help you and then you'll feel better. The third thing I would like you to do is pick five books and read them. I know it can be boring as fuck in the beginning. I know you'll think like, oh, what's even the point with this? But when you've read those five books, you will have learned a lot and you think like... Oh, you know, I actually read five books. I'm beginning to get uh, get good at this. Like, and then you pick out a new book, so it becomes kind of like a hobby. Uh, so five books, any books you would like. I can link my book section down below. Also, so those three goals. So anyone who's in this situation, uh, get a goal, work towards it. Work so fucking hard that when you go to sleep at night, you be like, fuck, I wish the day was longer. I wish I had more hours on the day. So do not squander any time. Have this fucking fire. Have this fucking sense of urgency. Like, you can't you can't waste a minute because you're on a fucking goal. You want to get there as soon as possible. All right, so basically, it's about getting a goal, going forward towards that goal, and feeling every day that you've come closer to it. So that's basically get a sense of urgency, set up goals, have something to look forward to. Second question from our man Andreas Ström, who wonders, Can you teach us mere mortals how to easier withstand temptations like junk food and other unhealthy stuff? Now, it all depends. Like, junk food, junk food isn't always bad, but if you're cutting, it will be more beneficial to you to eat a bit healthier. Now, I'm, I've been in this game for so long, so I don't really like the term healthy and unclean and clean. But yeah, if you have the choice between eating a pizza and a few apples during a cut, you need to be shredded. Then obviously go for the apples. What you have to do, if it comes to hunger, you have to occupy yourself with other things. Like gaming is perfect for this. Like Because then you're distracting yourself away from the hunger. If it's just the case that a few mates are having pizza and you're having something else, just go in the mindset that you are 
like you know a bit cocky thing to say but you you have to think like I'm superior I'm a fucking prime arc of glory here I'm trying to set myself to a higher standard so you have to be like oh you know that's beneath me I've utilized it's this tactic for ages like it works really good for me I'll be like I'm a fucking optimal elf of wisdom I'm a fucking um you know prime arc of glory I don't need to do these things that mere mortals do I am on a goal that is higher than anything else uh, so that kind of you know a bit cocky attitude a bit superioristic attitude towards temptations but if you know that something will hinder your progress like your long-term goal then don't indulge in it uh, there are so many tactics but basically that has worked fine for me I will make videos about it later on when I'm caught uh, in the summer and perhaps feel a bit like you know I want to indulge in some uh, some blasphemous things but basically the same can be applied to really anything if you feel like watching porn or anything blasphemous like that just say like is this worthy of me and if you think of buying something that isn't you know in accord with your meal plan say to yourself like is this worthy of me Am I succumbing to a temptation? Am I allowing this to, you know, show weakness in me, show weakness in my character? Then you'd be like, no, I'm stronger than that. And then you push through. So that's basically my answer right there. Last question. What are your thoughts on Tess Monster signing to a major modeling agency? Now, Tess Monster is um, rather huge, to be honest. Like, uh, I'm not going to hate on her. It's, you know, congratulations to her. But there is a problem with accepting unhealthy ideals but then again like she's fat and that's unhealthy and I don't want her to inspire other people to be fat but at the same time if we look at the fitness industry the top bodybuilders aren't healthy for uh, they aren't healthy in any fucking way so uh, most models aren't healthy at all like uh, if you look at top bodybuilders or test monster like basically the same thing so yeah it's regrettable but uh, it goes all over the board so you can't really say like this is bad and this is not because they're both bad uh, i just hope that more people realize that it's not okay to be fat not because of the looks like you can look how however you want i don't judge anyone on that but i do judge when fat people say it's okay to be fat and love yourself who it is but that it has nothing to do with looks it's all about health and i don't want to pay their medical bills so basically that's it and who am I? I'm your sincere true friend, XXO.